I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm joined by Bonnie and Camille for our Block 9 in our Snapshots Quilt Along that benefits St. Jude Children Research Hospital. We're asking if you can donate $5 for the use of this pattern. Block 9 is called Quilty Cat, and we did this block for all of our viewers that love cats. I went through my, my cat phase when I was a young girl. I had what we now in our family jokingly refer to as Cat Christmas. Yes. So everything that I got that Christmas was cat related, including a stuffed cat who was wearing an outfit that I had an identical one. But uh, quilters and cats, they go hand in hand. Yeah, and we all have a friend in common that loves cats. And, and yeah. So Anne Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs, I know you all know who she is and know how she loves her cats, but I went to visit her about, uh, about two years ago and it was late one night, I think it was about midnight, I was going up her stairs and she has some slots in her um, stairway. And I'm going up the stairs and there's this gigantic cat. Now I'm telling you guys, this is like a 10 pound cat. Huge, like right there, scared me to death. I mean, Anne was freaking out. I was just so scared. But anyway, that's my funny cat story for Anne. And now Anne and I have something to joke about all the time. In tribute to Anne, we're gonna go in the studio and sew up this cute quilty cat block. Download the snapshots pattern at the Fat Quarter Shop. Cut your fabrics and label them with your alpha bitties. Use R Full Color 2000 since it matches the day cell fabric perfectly. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance and press according to the pattern. We're going to start this block with the flying geese unit. You're going to take a fabric P square and put it on the left end of a fabric E rectangle. You're going to draw a line from corner to corner with the friction pin since the ink will disappear later. You're going to stitch on your line and cut a quarter inch away with your creative grids ruler. Then you're going to press. You're going to repeat on the other side and make one cat ear unit. To make your cat head unit, you're gonna assemble your cat ear unit and your fabric N and S rectangles. To make your top cat tail unit, you're gonna add corner squares with your fabric F squares to a fabric L rectangle. You're gonna make one. We're almost finished with the top of our cat. You're gonna assemble a fabric B rectangle and a top cat tail unit and press. Then you're gonna add a fabric A rectangle and your cat head unit. You're gonna make one. To make your cat body unit, you're gonna add a fabric D corner square to the top right corner of your fabric K rectangle and you're gonna make one unit. We're gonna add a fabric G square to the right end of a fabric M rectangle to make your bottom cat tail unit. Then we're gonna take our fabric C and O rectangles and piece them together and press, and then add them to the unit we made previously, and you're gonna have one middle right cat unit. We're gonna assemble the two units we made previously to make our bottom cat unit, and you're gonna make one. You're gonna assemble eight fabric J squares, four fabric I squares, and four fabric T squares to make one unfinished quilt unit. Now we're gonna trim our unfinished quilt unit to nine and a half by 11 and a half inch rectangle to make a really cute patchwork. I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to do this because you want to measure twice and cut once. Today I'm gonna to be using the Creative Grids nine and a half inch square up ruler. I'm gonna draw lines on this edge, but what I've done is I've aligned the center lines on this ruler, so we've got a perfect 45 degree angle. I'm gonna draw lines with my friction pin, the top and the bottom. And then I'm just gonna move my ruler so I keep this measurement going. On the top and the bottom. So now we've got a nine and a half inch mark from here to here. Now we want to make this 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches divided by two is 5.75. So I'm gonna take my regular six and a half inch by 24 and a half inch ruler that I use every day. And on this very point, I'm going to put 5.75. I'm also going to line up 
this bottom part with a line so I've got a perfect 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna mark and I'm gonna turn and do the same thing. Measure here, align the ruler here, and mark. And now you're just gonna take a look and see if you like this placement. It looks correct, I'm liking it, now I'm gonna cut on the lines. By cutting after you measure, you're gonna really ensure that you don't cut incorrectly and then you won't have to piece again. So I'm just gonna cut following my marked lines. And this is going to make one partial quilt unit. Now there's only one last step to finish your quilt unit. You're gonna add a fabric Q corner square to make your quilt unit. Now we get to make our cat paw. You're gonna take a fabric R rectangle and a fabric H rectangle. Place them like this and we're gonna draw a line from the top left to the bottom right. You're gonna stitch, cut a quarter inch away and press and you've got your cat paw. Now you're almost done. All you're gonna do is take your cat paw unit and your quilt unit to make your bottom quilty cat unit. Now you're gonna bring your cats alive by piecing your three units together. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next month on the 15th for another new quilt block. And please donate. We can make a difference in the lives of the children and families of St. Jude. As you share your blogs, don't forget to hashtag FQS snapshots.